Pioneering mathematician, physicist, and engineer, J. Ernest Wilkins, Jr., was born into a prominent African-American Chicago family on November 27, 1923. His father, J. Ernest Wilkins, Sr., was a lawyer who would later serve as Assistant Secretary of Labor in Dwight D. Eisenhower's administration. His mother, Lucille Beatrice Robinson, held a master's degree and taught in the Chicago public school system. The Junior Wilkins demonstrated great academic promise at a young age and at 13 became the youngest student admitted to the University of Chicago. By the age of 19, he had completed a PhD in mathematics and was hailed by the national press as a, quote, Negro genius. Wilkins became the first teenager to be accepted into the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton University on a Rosenwald Scholarship at the age of 19. Wilkins taught mathematics at the Tuskegee Institute from 1943 to 44 before joining the Metallurgical Laboratory at the University of Chicago to work on the Manhattan Project, the U.S. program to build the atomic bomb, in 1944. Working under Arthur Holly Compton and Enrico Fermi, Wilkins researched the extraction of fissionable nuclear materials. However, he was not told of the research group's ultimate goal until after the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Wilkins was the co-discoverer or discoverer of a number of phenomena in physics, such as the Wilkins effect and the Wigner-Wilkins and Wilkins spectra. His work with Wigner was critical in estimating the distribution of neutron energies within nuclear reactors. Being an accomplished mathematician and physicist and hailed in the national press as a genius, did not shield Wilkins from racial discrimination. When the Chicago Manhattan Project team was transferred to the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, then known only mysteriously as Site X, in Tennessee, the Jim Crow laws in effect in the state made it impossible for Wilkins to work there. Wigner would have to continue his work at Oak Ridge without the co-discoverer of the Wigner-Wilkins effect, while the United States raced to develop the atomic bomb before Hitler's Germany. When Edward Teller learned of this, he wrote a letter to the Director of War Research at Columbia University recommending Wilkins for a new position. Quote, Knowing that men of high qualifications are scarce these days, I thought it might be useful that I suggest a capable person for this job. Mr. Wilkins in Wigner's group at the Metallurgical Laboratory has been doing, according to Wigner, excellent work. He is a colored man, and since Wigner's group is moving to X, it is not possible for him to continue work within that group. I think that it might be a good idea to secure his services for our work." In a similar incident in 1947, Wilkins was invited to attend the American Mathematical Society meeting at the University of Georgia. The committee informed him that they had found a black family with whom he could stay and take his meals since he would not be able to join the other delegates in the segregated hotel. Offended by their racism, Wilkins never attended an AMS meeting in the Southeast United States. Wilkins continued to teach and conduct research in neutron absorption with Eugene Wigner. He would also later help design and develop nuclear reactors for electrical power generation. Dr. Wilkins' career spanned decades, and he made significant contributions in academic, governmental, and private industry positions, including as mathematician for the American Optical Company in Buffalo, New York, where he developed the mathematics needed to construct lenses for high-powered telescopes, as a senior mathematician for the United Nuclear Corporation in White Plains, New York, where he directed the design work for nuclear power generation on ships and submarines, director at General Atomic Company in San Diego, California, where he was in charge of nuclear power design. As a professor of applied mathematics and physics at Howard University, where he founded the university's PhD program in mathematics, as a senior physicist at the Argonne National Laboratory, senior director at the Idaho National Engineering Laboratory, and finally as distinguished professor of applied mathematics and mathematical physics at Clark Atlanta University from 1990 to 2003. Wilkins passed away at the age of 87 in 2011, 
At every juncture in his illustrious career, Wilkins worked to recruit more minority candidates in the sciences. Today, his portrait and a plaque honoring him hang in the Eckert Hall Tea Room at his alma mater, the University of Chicago.